So this is a game where you are the master of ghosts and you are haunting houses to achieve things. The first couple of levels will be very, very simple, straightforward. You're haunting, uh, you start with a sorority, then a fraternity. You gotta scare them all out of the house. But then things get a lot more complicated and tricky. So let's go ahead, new game. Oh my god, they're ghosts! So this game is quite old. It's currently available on Steam for a dollar. A dollar US. It's normally like five dollars. I know. It's super good though. Definitely worth buying. I love it. Oh, them pre-rendered cutscenes. <gasps> They're having one of them there. Is Say, there answer. anybody there? What, what is, is your, your name, name spirit? spirit? I love the start of this. It's like that perfectly atmospheric. They're trying to summon us on a spirit board. So our spirit name is going to be Quill. It's not terrifying, is it? <laughs> It's actually a typo, it's supposed to be kill, but we, we misspelled it and went quill because of reasons. All right. Is it too spooky for you yet? Don't, <gasps> don't, 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 don't. Cute. We're possessed of the TV and back people with it. All right, I think this is just about to bring us to the end of the cutscene. Very sort of Scooby Doo ish, you know. Very PG rated sort of ghosts and things. All right, let, let's let's cut the uh, the cutscene. to you. Treat them well. All right. We're gonna have the map of the town. So, start off with, we have uh, two destinations. Why is the uh, cursor a circle, like a loading screen? Kind of odd, hopefully that goes away. Uh, we've got the ghoul room, and I'll show you that later. This is sort of our mansion, where all our ghosts that we own are maintained. And then uh, the first uh, the first level, Haunting 101. Very simple, very straightforward. So the way it works, actually I suppose I could very quickly go to the ghoul room. Um, we've got, uh, oh no, I'll be able to show it when we go in here. We've got like a stable of ghosts and spirits and poltergeists and other things like that that we can use in our hauntings. So first things, first we've got a sword. You are ready for your field training, young ghost master. We are taking you to the Kappa Lambda sorority house in Gravenville University. Only a small number of sorority girls are in residence at the moment. But scaring them all away should be a sufficient test Whoa. of abilities. All right. So, we've got our team selection. So right now, I don't have a full list of everything. You unlock more and more spirits as you go forward in the game. So I've got uh, two sprites. I've got uh, Cogjammer, who's a gremlin. And um, I can get this epitaph. This organ grinder's monkey was unlucky enough to be ground by his own organ. Now a respected Greblin, Cogjammer is as wild in death as he was docile in life. So he's a, he's an electrical gremlin. Uh, we've got Clatterclaws over here, who's a horde type thing. Basically summons tons and tons of spiders to creep everyone out. We've got a couple of disturbances. We've got uh, Boo, a spook, and Whirlweird, a poltergeist. We've got an air elemental, an earth elemental. Uh, we've got no vapors yet. We do have a Frightener. Shivers is a Frightener. Um, run, always in the running for MVP, most valuable phantom. Shivers tends to be as uneasy around mortals as they are around him. Uh, and we've got a horror. We've got Ghastly over here. Everyone in the Astral Realms knows Ghastly. The Spectre was haunting when you were not even a disturbance in the raw plasm. So he's a Spectre and he fetters to violence things. So all of the ghosts are fettered to specific things. Um, objects that work with them. So, for example, Cogjammer will fetter to electrical devices. Uh, Clatterclaws and Boo will both fetter just to any room. They just in a, they just haunt a room in and of itself, and so on and so forth. So we have to figure out who we should bring with us. Uh, they can recommend a group, 
Um, so here they'd recommend Cogjammer, Clatter Claws, Boot, and Shivers. Boot and Clatter Claws are quite nice because they just bind to a room overall, so they can go into any room in the house. Uh, Shivers will need a room with an emotional object. Cogjammers will need electrical stuff. Now, I definitely want to bring Cogjammer because I need... Um, I need, I know there's something in this mission that requires a, uh, some messing around with electricity. Other than that, we've got a good deal of flexibility. We don't have that many dudes so far, though. Um, I know I won't need Aether either. I think she bounds to air and outside. I won't need her because I'll actually be able to unlock another ghost in this particular scenario for that. So, uh, Ghastly gets Psychic. Yeah, oh, Pokemons! So, what does he bind one to? Violence fetters. I mean, I just might go with the uh, the suggested ones for this mission. They're going to be pretty straightforward. I, I tend to like Boo. I usually bring Boo in most of my missions. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go with the recommended list. Cogjammer, Clatterclaws, Boo, and Shivers. Let's go and haunt them. Drive the Kappa Lambda girls from their sorority house. That's it. Some of the missions have uh, more convoluted quests than this, but this one's relatively straightforward. In the top left corner, we have our, our plasm bar. Um, the hundred here, or the greenish area, represents how much I have access to. The zero shows me how much I'm currently using. As I increase the fear level in the house, I will get more and more plasm to play with. So, for example, this room over here, uh, we've got electrical, water, and emotional machine here. I don't know why the... Uh, the clothes washer is emotional but let's say i go ahead and bind i can bind cog down here of course the, the girls are leaving unfortunately and then he can be bound in this place now by default he doesn't do anything it does take a little bit of plasma just to summon him but if i click on him i can also tell him to start using his powers so just to exist he needs five if i tell him to start using spark it'll cost 10 of my plasma but then he'll occasionally cost cause sparks to come out of the, uh, the the clothes washer here as i go up in the list what's going to happen is it's going to enable more and more of his abilities and he'll use all of them so by going wild and crazy all devices in the area will start malfunctioning but he'll do that then he'll do a jinx then he'll do a strange behavior then he'll do a spark then he'll just wait for uh cooldowns to come back and he'll just keep cycling between them all so i'm gonna go ahead and bench him again no someone comes back downstairs so here are the uh, the girls in sorority we've got uh, cindy uh haddock We've got uh, Blair Welchill, Joanna Fields, Natalie Cohn, Karen Fuller, Nancy Schachter, and Dorothy Tootie Cohn. We go to her. She's actually asleep in her bed. Who just subscribed? Adorith! Thank you very much for subscribing. Is there a cutoff? Hang on. Um, oh, it is cut off. Er, let me make a quick adjustment then. One moment. Right, having it in and out over here. Uh, edit scene. Oh, oh, that what? Obs is not properly reading the resolution of the game, getting confused, so it's doing things incorrectly. Okay, that should be a little bit better now. And this is working. Good. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that's better. Um, yes, yeah, so, we've got a few things. The other thing, if we notice down here, we've got Weather Witch. Dreaded dust! I used to command the storms, dearie, but since I went and got myself sucked into this electric broomstick, all I can manage is this infernal sneezing! It'd be a different matter if I got free, mind you. I'd whip up a storm to wake the dead! <laughs> so a lot of levels will have uh, spirits that are bound like that, that you can potentially um, free. Uh, I think we, and we can actually start to use her abilities here, but it's not. she's not going to be very helpful there. She's bound to an electrical device. She's bound to a vacuum cleaner. So what I can do is I can bind Cogjammer... Uh, well, I can't do it to the vacuum, but what I can do is put him on, say, the stereo, so he'll be in the room. And if I tell him to use his full powers, Wild and Crazy, for example, which causes every device in the room to go haywire, I think it'll bust the vacuum. Okay, dearie. I'm on your team now. Let's blow this joint! <laughs> Alright, so now I've got access to her. Um, and most of the, uh, most of the levels will have at least one ghost. Ooh, see, they're starting to get a little bit scared. They're, like, kind of creeping around. 
Now, everyone in here will have uh, three meters. The T is their terror, the M is the madness, the B is the belief. If uh, their terror goes all goes past their little white line, which is their willpower limit, they'll flee the place. They'll be scared and flee. Uh, the M, the madness one, they'll go crazy. The blue bar is their belief. The higher the belief, the more likely they're going to believe when there's creepy things, and the faster they'll get scared. People with low belief bars, though, aren't really as effective, and you're going to have to make them start believing first. So what the game advises you to is to use things that are obvious, um, as opposed to just creepy. So I'm going to try to uh, wake up um, Dorothy Tootie over here so that she can start to get scared right away. So I'm going to go ahead and bind Boo to this room, and I'm going to tell him to start using... Um, Let's say rattle chains that might wake her up there we go so she's up now good i want them all up so i can start freaking them out and then i'm just going to mostly bind my ghost to where there's a lot of people and have them use their powers and just try to keep them completely freaked out there we go now the other thing you can do is you can get a bio on everyone and everyone's got like a little bit of description about them joanna fields can't stand the sight of blood for example so her fears and subconscious fears are not known to me yet but the blood thing could definitely be a bit of a a bit of a tell. I think that shivers. Oh, there's nothing emotional in this room. That's too bad. Oh, someone's already like freaked to the max. Uh, no, not freaked to the max. It just got a specific fear trigger. I think we've discovered. She's getting times two fear because of reasons. I click on. Oh yeah, she's she's gone. Oh, what's her bio? Spooked by loud noises. There we go. So I made loud noises. So she's already left. One down, a few others to go. So are they hanging out upstairs? That's really unusual. Let's uh let's bind cat clatter claws to this little room over here, and uh, tell him to use absolutely every power. Um, I can change his orders. I can tell him to only use. No, that's not the one I want. There's a command you can give these guys, so they only use the powers when there's anyone in the room. I'm not sure. Not sure where to load that up. I might have to unlock that with points. Now, people will generally try to stay away from where the hauntings are, so now they're coming downstairs. I can bind uh, Shivers to the carpet here. Notice that I'm getting more and more plasma to spend. So I'm going to tell Shivers he can start using uh, all his powers, basically. Including the telekinetic storm, which will be really good against anyone who's, um, there we go, whose belief is low. It'll build up their belief. When things are floating around in the air, they're going to realize that stuff's going down. More people leaving. So we've got a couple people left. We're going to have to basically follow them. Oh, she's going outside, which is now, oh, she's not going outside. I was going to say, which is now the time to use uh, Weather Witch, but she's not. Did she go into the kitchen? No, she went into the basement. If you're scared, if there's ghosts around, why would you go to the basement? Anyway, let's move Boo down there. What kind of idiot? I mean, horror movies, you know? They're all the same, aren't they? Um, Where is... Oh, you're upstairs. I think I can bind Cogjammer to the television. And tell him to use his full powers. Okay, which he's doing already. See, her belief is low, so she's got very little terror. Wild and crazy should help because it should be pretty obvious. Um, I can move um, Clatter Claws into this room as well. Clatter Claws Swarm Strike. I think that'll summon a bunch of spiders to go after her. Yeah. That's not obviously supernatural, although it's still building up her terror a little bit. Right? I mean, spiders are not automatically magical or anything. How freaked up are you? Not enough yet. Alright, I'm going to bench Boo, which is going to free up some plasma. Now we're going to drop Weather Witch out, outside here. And give her access to her full powers. Now, Siren Song is the first one she's going to use, which doesn't really scare people. It mostly draws people somewhere. So I'll actually change it so that she doesn't use that. Um, but then I'll also bench her. Because more than oh! She's got a fear of blood. And I think it triggered. Yeah, it did. I think that uh, Shivers, one of his powers, Taste Aura. I think it made, like, it gives you, like, the taste of blood in your mouth, or at least it did for her. Like, it triggered her fear of blood. Ah, and everyone ran out. So again, first scenario, very, very simple. Just scare people. But you'll notice later there's the ability to become banished. What? 
Little things like that. So we got some gold plasma for our score. For every 1,000 points you score, you get uh, gold plasma. And you can use that to upgrade your, your ghost in the ghost room. So I'll go ahead and show you that. You may spend your gold plasm to teach your haunters new powers. See? To do so, click upon a ghost, then select their powers menu. So we do have a few. We've got Aether over there. We've got Stonewall. And I like how every ghost sort of has a room. Cogjammer here is in the... Uh, the pinball machine, which is cool. Whirl weird. So if I click on one, like Boo, who I do tend to use quite a bit, he's relatively cheap, he binds to a room, and um, because of his TK storm, or no, that's someone else who does Clicking on a blank because of Kinesis, power which is basically the same, I, I feel like it's good to taught. raise belief. A ghost may visible. learn one power per empty slot. I'll let her finish. All right, so, uh, he's already got powers on the second, third, fourth, and sixth power band, but he could have one on the first and fifth. The fifth one is going to cost 500 plasma to unlock, but I could unlock a level one. So the two of available here, Fool's Aaron, will target a mortal and cause him to hunt around random feathers for something that isn't there. So it'll basically, I think it'll cause him to wander around the house. Um, and then Moan just makes a sound. So I think Moan is the sort of thing that's effective against people with high belief. It'll increase their terror levels. So it's cheap. I could throw one of these in, no problem. Um, I could uh, cog jammers, another one I quite like. So we could have them cut lights, or the fool's Aaron, which is going to be very similar to the. Uh... Actually, is it literally the same name as the other one? I'm not sure. Blow fuse is pretty good. Blows a fuse in the location, uh, so it'll like turn out the lights in that room, for example. Wild geese is going to be like the other one, um, like the fool's Aaron, but. Uh... Wild Goose Chase. Again, I think it just makes them move around the house more. I really like Blackout. Blows most of the fuses in the haunting, which is the entire house. Um, there's a, a couple of missions later on that really need you to have that, but Spark Storm is also insanely good. We don't really have the energy for these, but it's look, you know, it's good to take a look at, at some of these different things. I don't know if we should spend anything yet. Um, I think we won't spend anything until we sort of run into a mission where we're like, oh, we could really use an ability that does X, Y, or Z, for example. Yeah, I didn't get any Elsas at our house this Halloween. In fact, most of the kids were incredibly well costumed. Really good makeup. Uh, really impressive. All right. We're going to go over to Weird Seance just because it's a good mirror to the Haunting 101. This is the, uh, the sorority, and now we're going to go into the fraternity. Weird Seance. The smug and irritating youths of the Alpha Tau fraternity mock the supernatural and do not respect the dead. One desires that they be made to experience the full power of the spirit world. And now, an opportunity has arisen. As the young mortals gather for a party, three socially maladjusted individuals are attempting a seance in the basement. Basically three nerds. The members of the fraternity believe they are tuning up their generator, not calling upon the spirit world. They are opening the door. You must not disappoint them. Everyone must be driven away in terror. Then they will know the true power of the supernatural. <laughs> All right, so we noticed that there were two ghosts uh, shackled in this particular one. Uh, one of them is sleeping on the pinball machine because he likes it because he's warm. He's like a cat ghost. Um, I believe the one we, the way we pop him off of that is with cog jammer, um, and we like spark the machine. Here's to see if it, what it recommends. Hmm. Recommends these guys. I'm going to veto this. I'm gonna. I like shivers, but I'm gonna drop him out because we've seen him already. I'm going to keep Boob because he's really useful. I'm going to bring Cogjammer in. I think that's what's needed to wake up the dude, the the cat ghost that's on the, um, that's on the, uh, the arcade machine. So, um, I might be wrong. Every now and again, you're like, oh, that didn't work. But you can replay these scenarios if you want. You can try to go for higher scores, all that kind of jazz. There were three ghosts. Drive the Alpha Tau fraternity from their frat oh! house. That's right, there's the guy in the gl the glass jar. There's this guy, Wendell, I remember him. Hey dude, like, what do you call it when my three Geekazoid friends hold a seance for me? Nerdromancy! Hey, 
I killed me, man. Let's see if I can turn on subtitles. Dumb hazing stunt the Alpha Tau's put me up to was suicide. I need payback on the leader, man. Make like Linda Blair and said his head is spinning. Um, options. I don't think there were subtitles, were there? Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Better. All right. Um, he's shackled to the teeth for some reason. I don't remember how to break that. There's a lot of people in the house. Oh, they think they were throwing a party, so there's some sorority girls over at the same time. All right, that's one. Then we got the guy in the jar. Oh, I can't. I can't just click on it. I gotta find him. I thought he was upstairs as well. Maybe not. Well, he's not in the basement. I'm sure he's upstairs. And I'm just not seeing it. Oh, there he is. You would think being chucked up for illegal research would be enough indignity. Without kids stealing all that's left of me, this jar's lid isn't as snug as those I'm accustomed to. If you break me out, I'll help you create quite a spectacle. Okay, we're going to start with him because I think that if we use Boo, bind him to this room, and have him use his um, kinesis, I think he'll cause the jar to tip over as things move around. Hmm, maybe not. Is it a thunder crack, a win? I mean, you know, we can look at the stuff online. I've played before. We actually may have needed uh, shivers. The other idea is use Stonewall, who I think can make like, yeah, he can make tremors. Where can we bind him? Make the tremors. Anything he can bind to should be highlighted in green. Oh, I guess anywhere outside. Let's put a tremor right outside of the window over here. See if that works. Nope. Hmm. We'll get back to him. Find Aether outside the window. Use the long sat. Oh, she's got a she's got a screech. Shattering song. Yeah. All right. There we go. So we're gonna bench um, Boo because we need the full um, 120 plasma on Aether. There are usually multiple ways to break this. Boom! There we go. Oh, that's so much better. That thick glass was playing havoc with my vision. All right. I like piping. It's just like bagpipes. All right, terror eyes. What kind of powers do you have? Icy breath, fascinate. Mortals develop a strong interest with the haunters better. More effective on nearby mortals. Oh, I think it helps keep people around and draw them forward. Icy touch freezes a mortal in a block of ice. Ghostly apparition allows the ghost to manifest a phantom image of someone. All right, that's one thing. Uh, let's get the cat going. Oh, I think there's hello. more than one way to do this I'm one. Lucky. And this Lucky's beeping table. Table usually lucky. warm and safe. But sometimes table zaps Lucky, which Lucky not like. Table only zaps when two-legged things play well, though. And two-legged things not play so well no more. So Lucky, stay here and keep warm. So yeah, I think one of your ghosts, and I remember seeing the powers, we did have a ghost that had the ability to give uh, mortals a uh, luck boost. Um, and you could use that to help them play better. But, um, I'm pretty sure you can also... Oh, is there no electrical things? That's why I usually bring shivers, because he can do, a, a, like, an electrical thing, I think, in the whole room. We may not be able to, uh, to pop this guy. Squad of Tarsal down! I don't think we're going to be able to. Well, I think we're going to have to come back for the cat. I think there's there's someone that can do an extra electrical thing to zap him. But I remember using the luck as well. Well, let's see. Uh, maybe we can get Wendell. So, Wendell over here. Let's use Cogjammer in the room. No. 
Mm, oh, there we go. We can go to the radio. And if we get him to do wild and crazy in the room, will it trigger the teeth? We also want to wake up this guy. Apparently that's not going to work. Oh, I forgot. You can use their luck when they're... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep him going there. I forgot that you can use their powers when they're still there. We discovered that with, um... With, uh, Weather Witch. Yeah, so as soon as someone uses this machine, we can have them do, um... I think just Luck Storm. There we go. That's right. Thank you for the tip. So now, you got the little luck. The machine goes crazy. Yes, maybe. It looks like it. Did he just get shocked over here? Really? All right, meanwhile, what kind of powers can you have? Footsteps, brief scare, laugh, chase. Those are not going to help you get free. Like, at all. We did wake up the other person, but you're still all chained up. Is there anything these guys could potentially do? And how come I didn't get lucky? Come on, lucky. The luck went. Let's wait until the guy comes up again. People keep getting shocked all over the place, though, which is pretty good. All right, maybe we can just build up a little bit of power for one. Let's um, keep Boo in this room. This is a pretty main room. There should be a lot of action in it. Although, oh, if we make people scared in this room, they might not use the uh, the pinball machine. We need to deal with the nerds in the basement, too. So, let's get Cog Jammer. Because right now, they're not going to wander around as long as they're there. So, maximum powers. Scare the nerds out of this room. There we go. Other powers shorted the pinball machine. Oh, really? Alright, let's, let's bench everyone. So, hopefully no one's going to get electrocuted anymore. Lucky. Powers. Luck Storm. No, not strange behavior. Luck Storm. Alright, use nothing. Orders. Only use the power at the current power band. I'm going to tell him not to use any other powers. Only use Luck Storm. Oh, we already scared someone off. Did you see the look? I mean, oh, I by scaring the guy he hated, priceless. that's what made him happy. Okay. That's right. That's what he specifically brought up, is he hated that other dude. So when we scared him off, that completed his mission. So we've got Wendell now. I'm going to hold off on the, the scares for a little bit longer, though. I'm going to wait until someone comes and, um, and uses the pinball machine again. Now, hopefully, we'll get it working. I want to get the cat. I mean, I don't use the cat for most missions, but I'm going to be kind of annoyed if we, uh, if we leave something untouched. She's apparently stuck. Alright, let's scare them out of this room. At least try to encourage them to, um, to move into the living room where the pinball machine is. I'm not sure if that's going to help or not, but we'll hope. There we go. Go play pinball. Ah, damn you. Come on, someone go play the pinball machine. Pinball is awesome, you guys. You should totally be playing. Ah. All right, maybe we'll just scare them out of here. We'll leave the cat for a future mission. And we'll just continue forward. Sometimes you get a second chance in another mission to get the same spirit. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Lucky stay. Yeah, yeah. Luck storm him. Nope. We're gonna luck storm a little sooner. All right, let's just scare people. Sorry, Lucky. We'll have to come back for you another day. I hope you enjoy your uh, your warm beeping machine. Oh, they've gone back to their seance down here. He is very expensive. He's gonna dominate one of the nerds. Yeah, yeah. Is your uh, Lux Storm recharged? No. You've got a super long cooldown. I don't think this is scaring anyone else. I think they're pretty chill about it. They do have a really high belief, though. This is bizarre. Alright, let's bench that guy. Bind, bind Wendell to this room. You can haunt your, your old buddies. Oh, he's got lots of, like, ability to use instructions. Look at that! Use powers only if mortals are present. Pick on specific mortals. Yeah, you may roam. There we go. You've got chase as well, so yeah, you can roam around and follow people. All right, let's get the scares going. I like uh, binding terrorize to the uh, the murder object over here on the wall. And his ghostly apparition's got to be pretty good. I mean, if he can pop appear as himself, although it doesn't look like it. Looks like he appeared as this guy. But it would be awesome if he just appeared as himself, dude. You're a disembodied brain with some eyes. That's got to scare the crap out of everyone. All right, well, I'll tell you what, you at least make yourself useful, so I'm gonna... You know, strange behavior. Keep people in this room scared, even if they're not using the machine. Can I tell you to... No. Okay, a lot of them are running outside, where they think it's safe. Now we're gonna start bringing Aether. We've got a lot of points to spend, so that's good. Oh, 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 bench, 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 bench. So that was a, um, that's a plasma alarm because if you use more plasma than you have, you get a few seconds to, like, bench someone or lower some power ratings, otherwise you lose the game. So we'll keep her being freaky out here for now. We've got someone waiting in the kitchen. We don't have Ghastly deployed. He's very expensive, though. And unfortunately, can we move um, Aether to the porch instead? Because it seems to be going the wrong way. And having done that, can I put Stonewall here? No, I still can't. All right, we'll have him do some minor tremors out there if anyone does wander out on the lawn, but I don't think Stonewall is going to be particularly helpful in this scenario. I'm going to try to get the fear things up. Someone's actually asleep. Oh, she's passed out on the floor over here. Maybe she fainted. There we go. Every time someone leaves, you do get a permanent power increase. Uh, there's not a lot of places to bind Ghastly. I guess I can do the front hall over here. On the bicycle. Apparently that's a violent object. Uh, just use Dread and Bitter Cold. You're expensive enough as is. There we go. There we go. So we're not gonna get our kitty cat. I'm so sorry, guys. Rattle them chains. I think we just had someone else disappear as well. Where are you that you're not getting permanently scared? Oh, you've moved back upstairs. Well, 
Why don't we move um, Boo? Nope. Maybe into the staircase room. And where does this go down? The stairs lead into here where we've got a ghost, so that's fine. Fascinate should, I believe, try to draw mortals into this room. I think that's what's happening with some of these. So this is going to keep mortals in this room where we've got a couple of people. Plus, they're going to have to walk by um, a Ghastly. We've got enough power for Terror Incarnate now. What does it do? Allows the ghost to appear in its full frightening grandeur. Excellent. All right, I think the rest of them will break relatively soon. Wow, Chet, I'm surprised he hasn't gone yet. Yeah, everyone's terror is pretty high. Greg Marmalade is a little bit lower. He's upstairs right now, but we should be able to. So we'll just try to follow him. What's his uh, personal fear? There's a crush on Ali McStick. He was badly burned as a child. Uh, I don't think we've got any fire summons or anything, so we can't do that. We'll get some rattling chains up over here, which is okay. He's getting electrocuted, which is fun. How come I... Oh no, I can buy Wendell to any of these rooms, that's fine. I'll drop Wendell up here. He can still chase people too when he sees them. He should still have the order for that. Yeah, yeah, he can roam. There you go. Very handy, the fact that he just chases people. Kind of a fire and forget ghost. Right. Just a handful more to do. Oh, Felicity is probably already leaving. Alright. Weasel Stranton has a lot of terror left to go. He has a high willpower. Electricity makes him uneasy. Oh, he also has a, a crush on Ally McStick. Alright, where are you? Electricity. Well, we don't have an electrical um, dude around, unfortunately. Yeah, he's far from terrified. But he's in this room. We can move Ghastly to here. Ghastly is one of our most powerful ghosts. Very expensive, but incredibly powerful. Alright. They're getting up there. Where... Oh, did some of them go into the basement? Like, it, uh, it's unbelievable to me that people would go to the basement. I do have an electrical ghost, derp. I said I didn't, but I quite clearly do. If you're gonna try to leave, you're gonna have to go buy boo. Oh, we exploded the hot water heater. I didn't even know that was the thing. Holy crap, what was that? Terry incarnate. There you go, look at that, maxed out terror. Almost maxed, almost maxed, basically maxed. You're up here, you're being frozen. We're cutting out the lights. Yes! Fear me! I can move, uh, I'll move Ghastly back up here in the living room. I like the combo of having, um, terrorize, bring people into the living room with his fascinating ability, and then just have everyone there. We've got the piping, who doesn't love bagpipes? some of these guys, apparently. I keep accidentally scrolling what I'm trying to do. Only one person left. There's there's still some people wandering around. I think they might have hit Max Madness. But uh, Pluto Plutarski is the last one left. Which is bio. Paranoid Fear Germs. He has a surprisingly low willpower, despite the fact that he hasn't actually been uh, freaked out yet. His belief is maybe only middling. He hasn't actually seen that much evidence of really, really scary things yet, apparently. He's mostly being haunted by bagpipes. His terror is going up, though. Shattering song. Do the full thing. Oh, no, he's done. All right. What we're probably going to try to do is squeeze in from Left for Dead multiplayer with subscribers after uh, a few more missions of this. We're only going until 4 o'clock today, so we can't go um, too, too long. I got another 167 gold plasma over here. I think it was relatively good performance. Uh, you can see you get different scores for things. 
I mean, certainly the fleeing. You actually get more points for driving someone insane than just making them um, run away. We got one person to faint. Lots of screams and shocks and scares and things like that. But no paranoia going on. I think we need more psychological terror. We also lost some points because we didn't unlock Lucky. But we're just going to move on anyway. So we'll do the Calamityville Horror next. I think this one is a good one. A sweet little old lady used to dwell within these walls, but her mind was fading and her sanity fleeting. She loved receiving visitors and hated to see them go. So she administered arsenic in their tea and made certain they would stay a while. Stay forever! The house itself has become unsettled by these events. And although it is not truly sentient, we still uh, have a Sunsuna, no, people can't the be killed. interests of the unseen world. Let the events that have until now been hidden become known to the mortals. Reveal the corpses to them, and your goal shall be fulfilled. For one cadaver may not suffice to convince the skeptical police that something sinister is afoot. So note that this mission has a different goal than the others. The goal here is not to scare everyone out of the house. In fact, if you do that, you will lose. What you have to do is find all the corpses and cause them to become revealed. So the recommended team includes Whirlweird this time. What do you have? Fool's Aaron, Blowfuse, Jinx, Kinesis, and TK Storm. Fool's Aaron might be good. Um, Fascinate might be helpful for this too. I mean, we'll probably go with the ghosts that are here. Because presumably they're being suggested for a while. Stonewall is going to be very, very key. I remember that for sure. At least I'm pretty sure that there's a few things that we can do with them that are going to be really, really useful. Um... So yeah, we'll go with the recommended team. Again, Boo uh, sees a lot of use. He's a really cheap ghost. He's a good way to start raising the terror level and getting you more plasma early on. That's why I usually run uh, Boo no matter what. And then Weather Witch, or you want someone you can put outside, which is a Weather Witch or an Aether. Um, Stonewall, sometimes you need the Tremor effects. Um, World Weird Fetters to Child. That'll be interesting to see. And certainly you want a variety of fetters, so you've got options there. All right, we'll take the uh, we'll take this configuration. Yeah, we only need Stonewall and a Ghost of TK Storm. Uh, well, we don't have. Oh, we do have TK Storm with Whirl Weird. Uh, and TK Storm and K Kinesis is pretty similar, is it not? We'll see. Go hunt. Reveal the hidden corpses to the mortal. I definitely recommend not playing this with like spoilers most of the time because it is a puzzle game more than anything else. Like this is a huge house. So yeah, we have um we have a ghost back here, Arclight, who's uh been full cask of Amontillado. She seemed like such a sweet old dear, making me tea and all when I came to fix the boiler. Next thing I know, I'm a dead man, and she's bricked me up. I reckon I could escape into a mortal's body if someone would just get close enough. All right, so step one, we're gonna have to knock down this wall. Now I think there's a pile of dirt over here, I believe. Stonewall, if we bind him to this patch of earth here and tell him. Uses tremor power. I think that'll work. There we go. Oh, only one brick. Oh, that that's I think is enough. Now we just need to bring someone down here. Oh, someone's down here though. That's bent tremor. Lots of people down here. Oh, I missed some sort of cut. Damn. Hmm. What'd you say? Try that again. It's the damn wall, you see. I just can't quite reach out past it to find a mortal to possess. Do we need to keep smashing it? Fire, water. Let's bind you here again with more tremors. I don't think that's what we need to do, though. What kind of powers you can you bring to light? Possess. Ah, but you can't use it right now. You can do human torch, bonfire, roast. Turn a hapless mortal into a fireball. We don't want that. Fire dances through the area. There's stuff to light on fire. Oh, we got a phone call. I think she saw something. I think I clicked through a cutscene accidentally. I think she might have seen the corpse. And she might be calling the police. 
Getting better day. All right, let's um, let's leave him here for now. We're gonna check out a few other things that we can do. So let's go and talk to the guy on the roof. Whoa, let's try to sort the camera out. Okay, click this button. Static. So I'm up on this roof fixing the shoddy coax antenna, thinking a coat hanger would do better. When I start feeling queasy, I'm thinking maybe the little old lady used non-dairy creamer in the tea. When my gut explodes. I made a grab for the chimney, but I guess I lunged too far, because now I'm stuck in it. Give me a hand, would you? Right, he is stuck in the chimney, and I believe this is another job for Tremor, actually. Right, he's, he's right in here. If we drop down one level... Two levels? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought we could Tremor him out of there. Oh no, Earth, right over here. So, how's your uh, Tremor? Almost recharged. So we'll bind you to the Earth here. And I think we can shake him out. Let's just wait for his power to finish recharging here. There we go. So uh, someone in the chat mentioned that what the lady was doing, she uh, she called the repairman. And the repairman's going to go down and check the hole in the wall. And probably finish the, um, the job. All right. Last ghost. Oh, she is in the attic. There's a tremor. There we go. Which drops him here or all the way down. There's the repairman. I'll look through the hole. Oh, he's going to smash the wall. Let's go down and watch. Did you, uh, did you crash? The game crashed. No! All right, we're going to start over that scenario again. You know what I should do? Instead of doing a game capture, I'm going to do a monitor capture instead. Some games, especially old games, do not respond very well to, um... Plus, I guess with stretching, the uh, perspective is going to be a little bit off, but uh, it'll be full screen anyway. Alright, uh, continue game, maybe? Calamity Vil Horror. Oh yeah. I mean, we know what to do how to get started, so it's going to go a little bit faster. So, we'll use the recommended set again. Reveal go the hidden corpses to the mortals. I'm going to I'll go ahead and start with the basement since it takes such a long time. So, we have to get one rock to be loose and then someone will see the loose rock. Oh, uh, use Tremor. Okay. Now, we'll turn and bind stone wall to here. We'll just wait for his Tremor to reload. Meanwhile, where is the lady who is locked up here? Did this room? Yeah, there we go. Let's go and talk to her. Oh, we actually haven't talked to anyone yet, so we should probably... I, I don't know if it's important, but just in case. We're just going to go through the little initial cutscene again. She there we go. It also enables them to use their powers. Like we could we could turn them on if we needed to. Alright, let's see. Maxine Factor. Oh, Max Factor. Ah. Hello, sir. Or madam, or well, whatever you are. Can I interest you in our range of facial care products? Our hydrant oh, it's black. What? works in conjunction with our Damn it. Son of a bitch. Why does things go stupid and shitty sometimes? So you can't see the actual game. Ah Games are old. Alright, let's try it this way. Old games are old. A demonstration on one of the lovely ladies of the house would doubtless convince you of the supremacy of our cleansing system. Okay, but what do we actually have to do? I missed the flavor text. Spooky surprise, strange vision, intrigue. Does that pull people towards here? 
Nearby mortals become interested in the Haunter's Fetter and Bitter Cold. So it sounds like we've got to get someone in there and be interested, but how do we actually chop down this door? That will be the question. What kind of powers do we have? TK Storm, maybe? The problem is we can't bind this ghost in this room. We can bind to a child, though. Do we have a child in the house? Do we have child things? Mm. There's a kid's room. There's a child. What are we going to do with you, though? Also, have we knocked the guy out of the chimney yet? Oh, what's going on down here? Oh, someone's seen it. They're like, oh, there's a stupid hole in the wall. So I think he'll go and make the phone call. No, he's the actual repair guy. Oh, is that how the, what the repair guy looked like last time with his horrible shirt? Can't hang on to this joker anymore. Time for a tea break. All right, so he's legit freed now, which is good. There's a tremor that's about to execute. So where does the skeleton go? Does it not go all the way down? I'll leave him there for now. Like, it feels like maybe we have to do something else in this room. World we literally have to bind to an actual child. Let's bind to the boy instead, because that looks like the boy's room. We have to give this room a shake-up with a TK storm. Uh, Arclight, you can set- Oh! Hold on, Arclight can set things on fire. We'll clog the chimney. Yes. Really? You're telling me I can't bind to this thing. Oh, fetters to a corpse. Oh, that's awkward. How many corpses do we have in this house? Well, actually, quite a few. So, like, if we can start a fire in the room, it, the house will fill with smoke, and we'll see the, um... There's a lot the of different chimneys. The police have arrived. Let them conduct their investigation. Some people are suggesting use chains in this room to draw people to this room. I don't think that's really a drawing people to the room power, but it might work. Jonte, thanks for subscribing! As we try to work this out. Weather Witch has got to go outside. Oh, she's a fe her feather is thoroughfare. Which is usually going to be outside bits, but apparently she can actually bind to this room. That's interesting. The mortals have discovered ah. a skeleton. Now it must be shown to the police. Okay. A demonstration. Can I get you to start using intrigue? I doubt it. We need to get someone to chop down this door. You can pull people to this room all you want. Alright, this chimney has got to be for this fireplace. Well, that didn't draw anything there. We need the kid to go to his bed. The mortal law enforcers have located wow. the corpse. Wow! Those polygons! The police will report wow. this body. <laughs> But it will take the discovery of a second corpse to initiate a full investigation. Okay, let's give the kid fool's errand, which will encourage these people to move around and look for things. That seems like a good idea. Where's the girl going? Because we can bind World Weird to the girl. Coming upstairs. If she goes into the attic room. If she does. Oh, we can't run a TK storm. Oh no, don't go away. I got a bench. Son of a bitch. Oh, there's still not enough stuff. I think we gotta get a little bit of fear. Not too much. 
just, you know, a soupçon of fear in one of the main rooms. Like over here. A little bit of rattling chains. Just a little bit. Just to get a few points. And then we'll bind a weather witch. Maybe uh, to this floor here. And... Yeah, just a little bit of fog. Yeah, we actually dropped the fear factor a little over time here, so we gotta we gotta keep it high enough so we've got power to do some things. Right, I'll use the tremor again. Some people are saying that, but I'm I'm suspecting that tremor's triggered more than once. Oops. Bench someone here. Oh my god, that cooldown takes forever. Fire extinguisher. If only we had a corpse in this room so we could start a fire. I feel like that should be a thing that launches something, but maybe not. We've got a... Um, what if... Yeah, we have no power. What if we set a bonfire down here? And light whatever this thing is. Do a little damage. Oh! Did he get pulled in by that uh, that fascination thing? It actually pulled someone into that room. All right, that just took forever. Go to. So there we go. We're using her power, Intrigue, to get someone to use the product, which feels like the thing we have to do to break this. A lot of people are being pulled in here. And there's also a corpse to discover, so that's something. The lights are on. There we go. She's spotting the corpse. So two corpses will cause us to win. But we still haven't, like, actually released all our, uh, all our ghosts. The second corpse. Show it to the police. Yes, she's going to use the makeup. And shall be yours. Gonna use the makeup, which sounded like it would free the other ghost. Meanwhile, oops, no, I skipped the cutscene. Oh, I'm so sad. We're gonna put stone wall back in. His tremors up. We we'll have to treasure tremor somewhere else, but I don't think anything's happening. And we definitely got to keep the horror level up here. This is, um, this is not good. We'll keep these guys in some main areas. I should have flipped these two, maybe. Oh, she's calling the police again. Let's leave a boo on the main floor over here. There seems to be a few more people. Combine her up here, but yeah, we keep losing power. Not good. Come on, boo. Do a proper job of keeping the fear level up. We had to be careful. We had to not scare everyone out of the house yet. Use wind to blow down the chimney? It seems a little hard to believe. Remember, you must just chill this room. People will use the fireplace. That's an interesting idea. If someone were to come in there. Can we use Maxine Factor? Okay, I'm pissed that we're not getting more power. Oh, we're getting an alert. Listen, buddy, you got to bring up the fear level a little bit more effectively than this. Everyone's got high belief. We're rattling chains. How can our points possibly be dropping? These guys should be getting scared from this. Maybe we need something a little bit more obvious here. Let's bind to the child. And use Kinesis. There's no mistaking that. Kinesis fools Aaron. It's a good idea to chill and then have them light a fire. 
I don't know. The, the thing is, the tremor. Maybe the tremor is just a red herring. Maybe the tremor does nothing. Everyone's gonna leave before the whirlweird actually uses a real power. Come on, Kinesis is up. Really? There's Kinesis. There we go. There, that got us some points. I don't know if it bothers the kid. I would expect it must. Is that the kid? Bobby Huts? Yeah. He's got zero terror from this, though. Oh my god, these ghosts are so annoying. Bind boot of this room. Congratulations! Your haunting goals are complete! Yeah, but I'm annoyed! By dude in the chimney! We did unlock two of them, but I didn't get static, and static is really quite strong. We got 300 gold plasma. Summoner is not included. Before we go into the next mission, let's go and spend some of our gold plasma. Chill the bottom fireplace, yeah. Uh, we could... What I could do is just restart it. Hang on. Let's... Okay, let's A, spend some money. Or spend some points. Um... Let's upgrade Boo, because he's pretty strong. I like Thunderclap. That should get some good attention. And I like Fool's Errand to encourage people to run around on this one, actually. It's not a good baseline ability, though, and I like Boo to, like, start getting my points up. I'm going to deploy Boo a little bit earlier this time. Let's go back in here. Come on. I should be able to replay it. Oh! Do I have to go through here? Revisit. There we go. So you can see I've completed where... Uh, no, I haven't. Why are the colors different? Maybe they just alternate row to row to row. There's also a time score that you can get. Okay, Calamity Villa Horror. Let's try to see if we can chill a room and start a fire. People keep saying a that that's a thing. I mean, I could just check the actual... Um, Reveal the, the hidden actual, corpses um, like, to the mortals. So, he is right in this room over here. So, let's... Hello, we, ha we need Maxine again, I feel. Because we can use her intrigue power to try to encourage people to come into this room. Although, again, her fetter is murder, which is hard to do. How do we get a chill going? It's Weather Witch can make chills. Well, she makes gusts. Boo? He doesn't have chill. Bitter cold. Ghastly has violence. Can we bind Ghastly this room? No. I actually don't know what we could even bind Ghastly to. It's a recommended thing. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, is this the fireplace? No, it's a different fireplace. But, let's give it a try anyway. We will um, use bitter cold, and only bitter cold. Of course, people have just left the room. Because that's the way it's going to be. Oh. Okay. Are they going to go and light all the fires? Where's the... I keep losing the dude. There he is. Uh, powers. Tremor. Alright, that was the first tremor downstairs. Yes? Okay, good. Now, just in case... And I don't think it's needed. I think, I think that's a... Um, I think it's a red herring, but I will go ahead and bind him up here, try to get one tremor, loosen the bones in the first place, see if it makes a difference. Yeah, this chimney, this room is filling with smoke because the chimney's blocked. So, did they go and light a fire in every room simultaneously? Maybe the chimneys are locked? It, like, it makes no sense. Like, it makes no sense at all. <laughs> Why would that cause the other chimney? To in smoking. I feel like there's another solution to this. I, I feel like I used a different solution to this puzzle at some point. And uh, why are you using bitter cold? Oh, that's your other power? Yeah, just, just use intrigue. That's going to be enough. There we go. So intrigue is enough. She's like a self-solving puzzle. You just set her to intrigue. It'll discover her corpse. And it'll also free her.
The problem is you have to get all of the um, the ghosts to be unfettered before. And I forgot to actually talk to them. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but it might. Um, before the police have discovered all the corpses. But the problem is all of them are bound to a corpse. So by discovering any of them, you start the timer for the others. So it's kind of interesting. All right. Intrigue. So this lady's going to be like, hmm, there's a body here. Maybe someone should do something about the that. The mortals have discovered a skeleton. Now it must be shown to the police. There we go. So she's going to free herself again. Hopefully that handyman will come and unclog that, uh, that room. I don't know if anyone's concerned about this room. Hey, what? Let's... Perhaps that Let's fetter the child. I just find run, I take. Or the weather the whirlweird to a child again. If we can find one. Like there. And set the powers to fool's errand. Encourage people to wander around looking for stuff. I'll keep up the bitter cold. Use the tremor upstairs. I did use it. It's up here. Look. I don't think he's gone again, though. His cooldown on Tremor is insanely long. It's just... Oh, maybe it didn't get reset after the mine? No, I think we're just still waiting. It's just, like, on the verge of completing. It's a super long... I can bench you now. There's a repairman, right? Pretty sure, yeah. So he might be coming to unplug the chimney. Which would be nice. No. Oh, he might have gotten. It's he's not a repairman. He's he's the the father. I think he's been hit with the um, the fool's errand. Too bad I can't bind her to this room. It'd be, oh, there's no more smoke. Why'd the smoke stop? Oh! By shaking him, he drops down to this Are level? Because now there's smoke down here? It's a nice the chimneys are not connected! I don't know! Uh, These people are making stuff up. They're not connected. The police have arrived. Let right. them conduct their investigation. Let's put a little bit of... Uh... The handyman has arrived. He may be useful in revealing the bodies. We'll do some basic fear in the front hallway here, just to keep up the level a little bit. Shouldn't be enough to freak anyone out, but... I mean, the handyman will go downstairs, for one, but hopefully he'll check out the chimney over here. Smoke went away because chimney is not blocked. The chimney at the top is not blocked, but this one is? Chimney magic, yeah. Use telekinesis in the piano room? Oh, the TK storm. Um... That's an idea. We can move Boo into here. Use Kinesis. There's also a TK Storm on the uh, Warlord. Ah! Alright, so it's a combo. So you don't actually need the smoke. good to stretch the old ectoplasm. And now I'm gonna do more than just shock these jokers. Much like this chimney has like two solutions. Because I'm pretty sure I remember seeing that before. There's a couple of different ways it can go. Alright, we can bench these guys. Bench you. Okay. Bench you. Now the thing we need before the cops discover two bodies, we need someone. We need the um, the repairman to come down here and become possessed, which will unlock the last guy for maximum scores. But other than that, we've got it. They have found a second corpse. Show it to the police. Come on, and repair guy. Shall be yours. There we go. Yeah, lean in. Nice and good. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Did that do it? Did you possess him? Can't hang on to this joker anymore. Time for a tea break. Excellent. All right, every ghost freed, every corpse revealed. We just have to wait for the police to finish their job. And that's it. 
So in a way, I like the first couple of missions because it's classic. You, you know, it's just fear. Police, why? Why are you up there? Okay, let's uh, rebind. I don't know if she's seen if it was this corpse they saw or the one in the living room. I don't know which corpse they discovered. What's this? Why are you cutsceneing me? Are you telling the police where the corpse is? I think so. Okay, good. Um, it's more classic, you know, scare everyone out of the house. But the puzzles in some of these are way more interesting. And the ones later on are incredibly hard. When the, the Ghostbuster type people start showing up, then it becomes quite a challenge. T break, T kill them, you're right. No, I think she's uh, she's coming up to the one that was locked in the attic. I think she found the one that was in the, uh, the fireplace, and now either of the other two corpses would be fine. So this should be the second corpse, and that should be the victory in quite a bit more time than the first one. That's the, the thing, you can replay... The law enforcers have located a corpse. The police will report this body. Oh, they're still only on the first corpse. Take the discovery of a second corpse to initiate a I think uh, someone's telling her where the corpse is. Yeah, I think the handyman just said, Oh, I just saw one in the basement. He kind of possessed me. It was weird. I like I was saying something else and I don't remember. Yeah, you can replay the things and just try to get better and better and better time. Now, there's always a little bit of a luck factor. Um, because, you know, you're waiting for someone to sort of walk into the right area or this or that. I think they're getting uh luckily they can walk through each other it's not like the sims where they block each other which is good because i don't think the pathfinding is quite as strong in this game but i feel like she's going to go to the basement but it's possible she'll go and find this corpse so now that we do have a corpse here yeah the corpse and murder and violence and emotional means we can bind all our other people if we wanted to not that it matters okay hopefully she'll go to this corpse because it's closer and indeed she does weren't there two cops at first what happened to the other guy Yes, that's a body. Yes, it's human. You can, uh, you can complete the game now. Congratulations! Yay! Your haunting goals are complete! Ooh! There's a time target. We have to beat it within 10 minutes to get a second pumpkin head. So right now we got one pumpkin, so we actually got double our score. If we get a third pumpkin, I think we get triple our score. So we need to have beaten it 15 seconds faster. I'm not I'm not going to rush for the record here, but you do get some cool kind of replay value that way. Uh, let's go and upgrade some other ghost. Well, hold on. We'll wait to see what we need for the mission first. A rash professor of the occult recently took a powerful turn. This reminds me of a movie. Woods with the goal of summoning an ancient spirit known as the Darkling. Fleeing his cabin after disastrous initial experiments, he renewed his research at the university. Three of his students, wrapped with dreams of power, have stolen his notes and journeyed to the cabin intending to locate the arcane book for their own nefarious purposes. Nick to Brada Klaatu or something. So we may recruit the Darkling for ourselves. Right? I'm not wrong, right? This really looks like Evil Dead. Okay, so who do they recommend? Maxine Factor, potentially to help draw people to a fetter. Boo, standard. Aether, we do have outsideness, so being able to bind anywhere outside, or also air, is going to be useful. She doesn't have a whole lot of powers, though, right now. I think what we might want to do is upgrade her. Stone, oops, Stonewall, which is always good. We've also got Weather Witch for more outsideness. Okay, I'm going to cancel this ha haunt. I'm going to upgrade Aether. If I can find her. I I'm amazed she's not actually just outside. Ghost over there. Shivers. Weather Witch is in a thoroughfare. Puddles of water. Oh, there's a cool asi uh, insane asylum one at some point. It's not like out back, no. Oh, air. Why are you down here? There's tires? No, oh, seems a little questionable. So, powers. Uh, footsteps. 
does what? Victim seems to be followed. Moan just makes some noise. Howl, laughter. Oh, well, let's make her like a, like a sprite, like insane laughter. Yes. And uh, some footsteps. She'll just help make people feel a little bit more crazy. And then we don't really have points or anything else. Doo -doo. All right, so let's pop back over here. We'll skip the cutscene this time. All right. And recommended. We'll use what they suggest. Trick the mortals into summoning the Darkling by using the ancient tome. Okay, we can do that. We've also got some spirits over here. Someone's stuck in the outhouse. Rain dancer. Yes, my foolishness. Rain dancer may dance no more. How fetid and foul this porcelain contraption built by mortal hand. When will they unleash the torrent within and flush this spirit's way to freedom? Okay. What kind of powers can you call in now? Distant thunder, rain, haunted hail, flood. Do we just have to wait until someone comes to pee? There's, oh, oh, I see the problem. Look at this. There's a wasp nest, so they can't use the washroom right now. So, can we just shake the wasp nest now? When in doubt, use tremor. Like, we're gonna start with brute force. All right. Now people can go pee. Um, still cutsceneing for some reason. Okay. That's one. What else we got? Is there an upstairs? No. Oh, I see one over here. Lots of little spirits here. Whisper wind. I am known as Whisper Wind. Humble sign of the winds. My skies are denied me by uncouth human sorcery, which seals me within this dream catcher. Though mm. I yearn to be free of this ramshackle dangling trinket, to return to the wide world beyond, I cannot escape without aid. Oh, dream catcher. Okay. I wonder if we can just, like, TK storm that down? What kind of powers do you have, Whisperwind? Distant Thunder, Insane Invitation. Call softly, drawing them closer. Tempest. Lots of wind. And then just a random whisper? Whispering voice that may drive mortals mad, especially if they fear noises. Wow, we've got some good insanity ones. Let's try a Tempest in this room. It's shaking it. But that's not enough. What about, um, Weather Witch? This is a thoroughfare? Yeah. Maybe you've got one? Gusts? Thunderclap? Let's start with Thunderclap. Probably not going to do it, but we'll try it first, and then she should use the, uh, the Gust next. That is fine, Ranate. No, it shakes it, but it's not enough. Hmm. Maxine Factor can be bound to the head over here. And that's literally all? That's the only thing she can bind to? Is the deer head? Interesting. Why would we bring her then? She's got Intrigue, Bitter Cold. I mean, she can just be here to um, raise levels a little bit. Venture. And we've got Boo. I should actually get Boo going uh, sooner. Oh, hang on. We didn't try Boo. Use your Kinesis. Make things go flying around. That's not the one I was looking for, but that's okay. Let's go talk to the last person while we wait. My cursed husband buried me here in the darkness. I remember that ghastly tome, his fiendish rituals, my heart slowing as my son. Oh, the blessed Whoa. flow. Now turn Rain Dancer to our enemies, that she may fall upon them. You interrupted the other cutscene, but I'm very happy you're free. Alright. I 
would revenge myself upon the living. They need only see my ghastly form. So people have to see you for you to get vengeance. Moon screen. So strange vision, probably. We just have to get people to come downstairs. Okay. Why aren't they going downstairs? Wait, how, how do you get downstairs? The stairs are here. Oh! It's covered! It's hidden! I don't think that Tremor is the solution here, but I'm going to try it anyway. Apparently it is. Tremor all the things. Oh, there's a lock. Hey, what? Let's get the. Uh, some people say gust plus, um, like, whatever the other person can do. Hang on. Let's uh, go ahead and bench. So I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna give Weather Witch the orders to only use the specific power, and you're gonna use gust. I'm not gonna deploy her yet. Then, um, Whisper Wind, same thing. Say, only use the power I tell you. And we're going to do Tempest. So we're going to do Gust plus Tempest at the same time. People wanted that. Oh! I think people are reading spoilers. But there we go. Again, may I ride the winds of freedom? Because they both definitely move the thing. We just have to combo them together. Alright, I like that we're getting all these little sprites, though. That's cool. So, I think I'm going to leave... I, I do need to keep a certain baseline fear level here. I don't know how popular of a room that is. I suppose what I could do is I could use... You know Maxine Factor? There's literally... There's nothing for you to bind to down here either? Because that's not a thing. That's a corpse, but you can't actually bind to that. So, just as a way to keep the, uh, the level up a little bit. We'll have her uh, use Intrigue to pull people forward and then use various things just to keep a certain fright level. Hopefully not too much. We don't want to make people run away. No, their terror is still low. Alright. How do we get people downstairs? That's the question. This thing is locked. We need to open it up. I mean, I could try Tremor a second time. Or swallow things up. I don't think any of that's the the answer. Well, it's still recharging the tremor. Um, shattering song, perhaps. Let's go ahead and bench everyone. We, just, we have just enough power. We bind you here and set you to shattering song. Will you shatter the lock? I think you shattered a bunch of windows. One star sees in. Hey, gigs want to take what a tin item. I did not bust star. Not seem to cut it. Water. I don't think there's any water to bind to right over here. Like I thought, oh, we could rust the lock or something. There's air here. We can bind to air. Tempest, insane, distant thunder. I don't see how any of those are going to help. Oh, hold on. Someone's pointing out, again, there's no way. Like, you're clearly reading because there's no way you've seen this. But apparently there's an axe on a stump somewhere outside that we can bind Maxine to. Like, I know, like, if they were um, suggesting that Maxine be brought... What? Where do you... Oh, you found a key! Someone said there's a stump with an axe that you can bind Maxine to. Oh, right over there. And then use intrigue will encourage people to use the axe. But apparently... You just wait long enough, they find a key in the toilet? I don't know. Not gonna complain about it. Okay, now that you're down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Power. You are gonna use Strange Vision momentarily here. As soon as Buddy's full in the room. Strange Vision. Do not use the book yet. 
You need to see my ghost the first. mortals have entered the cellar, but their searching skills are sadly inadequate. Perhaps it would help if the book could be moved. The screams of the living almost match mine! I crave more of their music! Alright. Okay, so, yeah, the book is on this big stack, so clearly we need to knock things over. There's a few things we can bind to. Uh, one of those things might be as simple as getting Boo to use his Kinesis. There we go. Is that knocking onto the floor? Or at least cause it to hover around? There we go. Middle of the floor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bench Boo now, because I don't actually want people to be scared away. And they should wander back down soon. Or stick around. We've unlocked everyone. Just need to get them to find the book and then complete the ritual. There you go, buddy. It's right there on the floor. Yes! I knew you could do it! Now what are you going to do? I recommend you read the book. Um, well, maybe. Come on. I don't think I need to do any more hauntings. I certainly don't want to scare people out of the basement. I'm hoping the others are now coming to the basement. Yeah, there we go. They're both heading down there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to open another soda in a minute. Well, actually, we have to take a short break, I think, after this particular uh, session. Excellent. Ah, this one's day. Who tar rolling it down? Ah, you just handle it. Ah, Robbie. That is fine, Ranate. Ah, this one's day. Did plant tar sin. Sarah said. What a tin item. Did plant tar sin. Trotter said. Ah, you just handle it. Who tar rolling down? I didn't have a star. Ah, this one right at it. Who's that? Who's that? It's the professor. Sarah said. Can't plant it. Go He's got a gun! Master, do not allow the deranged professor to foil our plans. Okay, you killed Moonscream, right? Or something? Oh, I can't bind you back to that. Really? So, I... Okay, everyone's leaving the basement. So, I probably just have to freak him out enough so that he, um... He runs off. Use full powers on Boo. That's number one. He's got a very high belief, so it should be relatively easy to do. Uh, I think there was a tire here. Yeah, so let's bind Aether. Let's cut back on that a little bit. Use piping. This, this is mostly a craziness one. I need to terrorize him. Probably more than anything else. Well, let's combine something down here. Not you. Not you. Uh, oh, Stonewall can bind to whatever he wants down here, because the whole thing is Earth. Actually, the belief's not that high. I thought it was higher. I'm wrong. I was looking at the white, so... I think we're going to bench Aether. We're going to use more obvious things. Whisperwind, maybe. What can you do? Tempests. That's pretty obvious. Oh, it's going to freak out the others, though. So... I bet I can't bind her. It feels like it would be appropriate. What else can I do? Um, can I use Maxine to pull him out? Well, I can't target the effect. There we go. Oh, I should check his, um, his bio. Ten preventing his errant students from stealing the power of the Darkling for themselves. He is angry. He's got no obvious fears in his text. Rattling chain's not doing much. All right, let's bind Stonewall down. Here. Okay, everyone's still fine. Stonewall to swallow. Ooh, I like it. As long as he doesn't swallow the wrong person. I will have to, uh, let's bench the other two. 
wait until he's alone. And the other two are leaving. I'm gonna wait until they're like properly up the stairs and then I'll use the swallow ability. That's a cool idea. I love it. Love it. Who, who said that? Probably multiple people. Um, Swallow. We haven't seen it yet because it's very expensive. Nom 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 nom. Does it get rid of him properly? No, but it sure as hell does a lot to his terror level. Oh my god. Get Boo back in here. More Kinesis. Yeah, he's not gone yet, but his terror level is very high. His belief was raised a little bit as well. Not convinced that slow is really critical for interfering here. I feel like um, Stonewall needs some extra abilities. He's only got his three, and Swallow is incredibly expensive. I mean, mostly I'm just using him for his Tremor all the time, but that feels a little bit unfair. No thoroughfare, no. So again, her abilities are not necessarily that... Well, they might be a little fear-inducing. He's almost there. One more tick. One more tick of terror. Uh, everyone else is around. As long as Stonewall doesn't accidentally swallow one of them. And no, he's far away from doing another swallow. The others are not scared enough that they're going to be affected here. As long as they don't get swallowed. Bruce Elm does not have a whole lot of uh, room here. For a fear effect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bench Stonewall just in case. Or I could leave him do a Tremor. That would be okay. To rebind you, you can do a Tremor if you come back. There we go. Get out! Alright, bench everyone. Bench. 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 Now that the professor is gone, are they going to come back to do their ritual? Well, they're certainly coming back down the stairs. I think their AI was set to, like, they kept trying to come down the stairs, and they'd see the professor and be scared off. Hopefully they'll restart things. Earthquake. Give Stonewall the Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake is like a tremor that affects the entire house, right? And it's really useful. If I recall correctly, it's actually really, really handy. Assuming we get enough points, that'll be the next thing we do. Just want to take. Thunder's rolling down. You where's the uh where's the last person i like they got the little eyes i think that's when they're sharing information about what to do i think that's like plot advancement right there oh bruce poor bruce he's got a little bit of fear going on he's got very little willpower is the problem so he's got a very narrow mat margin but you see like he's walking around with like his shoulders around his head <laughs> i'm scared scared all the time except when i'm walking down the stairs because i only have one animation for walking up and down stairs but the rest of the time i'm kind of scared all right start that sucker back up i like this mission it's very hmm, i don't know what you're playing on the uh the recorder there it's very like compact there's not a whole lot going on but it was like a neat little multi-phase mission cool there you go well do it cast your spell summon the darkling there we go. Oh, oh, he looks attractive. Did you just eat their souls? But the Darkling needs more souls to be freed. A task for later attention. For the time being, enjoy your victory. All right, love that mission. 10 out of 10. Would devour souls again. Probably not good on time, though. Yeah, we didn't even get a single pumpkin. We need 15 minutes for the uh, the next time target. But because one of the of things, as you unlock more ghosts... These haunters have been spared from other campaigns to join you in Gravenville. Act 2. So, in as the acts go forward, like, the buildings have reset. Like, we've cleared all the hauntings. The buildings will reset, and we'll actually go back to some of the buildings sometimes and get slightly different versions of the quest. So here we get a police um, quest, for example. Oh, and dead fellas, that's right. Okay, let's see if we've got enough to upgrade um, uh, Stonewall to have that earthquake ability. I'm thinking he's in the basement? Yeah. 
There's Quake. It costs a thousand, though. We don't have enough for that. Okay. I'm not, flower power? What does that do? Unnerves mortals with phantom flora. Yeah, because that... I mean, I guess anything that appears out of nowhere is kind of freaky, but flowers were not, like, on my top ten list. Okay, we're going to take a short break here, guys. I'm going to get another another soda, take a bio break. We'll be back with uh, some more haunted.